12-year-old Shrey Pianit has just arrived in Phnom Penh's Kantabopa Hospital after a five-hour journey. There are hospitals in his home province, but his family says they're not as good as this one. Many other Cambodians feel the same way and queue here for hours just to see a doctor. For many, it's the only chance they get. 85 to 90 percent of children in Cambodia in need of hospitalization are treated here. It is a public hospital, but only 10% of its funding comes from the state, which wasn't always a supporter. The rest comes from international donations. Swiss doctor Beat Rickner set this up over 20 years ago and now has a staff of more than 2,000 Cambodians. He trains them so they eventually take over and make sure the services remain free of charge, unlike in other public facilities. It's no corruption. No one takes money from the patients because we pay correct salaries and 80% of our patients are from families with a daily income of one dollar or less. They have no, nothing to pay. It's a situation factory worker Tem Hon and his family know only too well. He's just been released from a private hospital after emergency surgery and was kept there for a month because he couldn't pay the bill. But his wife says if he'd been rushed to a public facility, they wouldn't have fared any better. It upsets me when I go to health centers and see no physician. It makes me more upset when I have to have money when I go there. If I don't have money, I don't get treated. Public health centers like this one are scattered across the country, but they're ill-equipped and undermanned. What staff there are often have to take on second jobs or ask patients for money on the side just to earn enough to survive. For many Cambodians, healthcare has become all about money since it was privatized in the 1990s. This has opened it up to corruption. Without the international aids, uh, uh, we will be in much uh, worse shape than now. So instead of going to their own health centers, the residents in this border village would rather go across to Vietnam. It's cheaper and more reliable, they say, giving them yet one more reason to feel let down by their government. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.